Hey, bomb, stay silent. It is a sign. The white lady wishes me to come to her alone. But I need a servant in hell. You must come too! <laughs> I don't travel well. They will only make me stronger! Sacred Senora, I come to you! That dude's on fire. You sadistic sucker! You and F double O L to think that can spell you trying to take my crown. This here is my jungle. I own it all, bro. Me, Tonyo. I, the ace in this place, gonna get in your face like mace. You're gonna see me walk my talk, motherfucker. This mad dog, don't ever let go. You're gonna pay in BL double O D. You're gonna get beat down. You're gonna get bone. You're gonna get burned. And when you dead, I'm gonna saw off your head. I'm gonna eat my instant oatmeal out of your motherfucking skull, you. Sure, taking their time. Decoding, extraction, it's not easy. One mistake, we lose all the data. Sonrisa? How the hell? Wait! Fuck! You! You're El Zamuro! <laughs> We don't point fingers, we don't take sides or make excuses. What happened is not down to any individual, any team or policy. We were victim of a clever deception and could not have known the damage that this deception would cause. Sonrisa's or El Zamuro's real name is Jose Vargas. He had been planning this attack and his extraction for some time. The hacker, Regillo, arrested by the CIA prior to these events, was the deliberate catalyst. The information Regillo gave us about El Invisible and his PDA was false. What concerns us is that we found no evidence to suggest that Vargas was a natural enemy of the CIA. So the question remains, why us and why now? Vargas was estranged from his Chukisaka family and friends. He made a name for himself on the streets as the cunning but affable fence, Sonrisa. Later, he was confidentially recruited by Santa Blanca to control their smuggling network. But this El Invisible, as he became known, was never personally affected by CIA operations. One source suggested that during the recent drug wars, someone close to Vargas was killed by the DEA. The name Capuya de Rosa appears on several confessions we have obtained, but we can only speculate about this person's involvement in our story. What is clear, however, is that Vargas wanted to give up his position in the Santa Blanca hierarchy and used us to help him start a new life in America. 
Regrettably, a man with such skills at hiding his true identity has proved impossible to trace. My advice to you would be to learn from the unfortunate affair and put it all behind you.